Hi YouTubers. Today we will talk about ClickSense. It is one of the BA tool in market. And I will show you how you can create maps in ClickSense. The ClickSense version which I am using is ClickSense Desktop and it's a April 2019 patch 1 version. Go ClickSense you can do both scripting and dashboard. So I'll directly show you how you can get data in inside your app. So we'll go to the data load editor. We'll go to the data load editor and I have already created a connection called maps, but if you want to create, you can just click on this icon and then you can select that and you can create a connection folder connection and I'll click on the add data. And this is the dummy data, which I have created to give you the understanding of data. This is how it looks. It has a product name and type adoption type and total number of units shipped sentiment country region state and city and as well it has latitude and longitude data i'll click on insert script to add this data it will automatically start showing up here i'll just load it so the data is now loaded into our app we'll go to the ui part so this is how the UI looks for ClickSense. We'll click on edit. Left side will go to charts and map. I'll click on add to sheet or you can just drag and drop here. So since we'll be doing it for multiple layers, we'll divide this section into four different charts and we'll do it for four different layers. So first, once you select the map, you go to the layer and add layer. There are multiple options here. One is area, point, line, density, chart, and default layer. So area layer is something which, which can be used at a country level where you want to show your sales and you want to color the area based on the sales gradient. Whereas point has a latitude and longitudinal data, which are kind of dots or other symbols which you can highlight over your map. Line layer is majorly used for uh, showing routes. And one of the example could be that you want to show uh, airlines route and to and fro from a state or city to another state or city. Density layer is again to show the sales by region. And this is this chart layer. This is a new addition in ClickSense. It, it's very important. Uh, helpful and let's say if you want to show multiple measures on your dashboard you can use this chart layer let's start with area layer so first of all you have to add data and here we'll be adding state name which will act as a dimension and you see it has automatically picked the state names and based on that it has highlighted those states which are present in data and in location field it has automatically picked state name if you if you don't want to do it based on the name you can do it based on the latitude longitude as well but then you will have to select the fields here colors as of now single color is selected let's say we'll do it by measure and in measure you can select what you want to do so let's say we want to do it by product shipped dollar so it's a color gradient from high to low and you can change the color gradient and you can do the reverse color as well and this is outline color which is basically outline of your state so you can change it from gray to green to you know red whatever suits you and then is the opacity then comes the sorting and options. So these are these are the default options you see in your chart. Then is the show label where if you want to show something on top of your uh, highlighted area, you can select or you can type here as well if you want to show the numbers on those data points. So this is how you create an area layer. Now let's explore a point layer so I have selected point layer now we need to select 
since point layer would be more useful to do it at city level so i'll select city name okay and again based on city names it has automatically picked the latitude and longitude of those cities and it has hi highlighted those uh, cities in the map again in location you can do it based on latitude longitude or a field we are doing it using a field name and then comes the size by so let's say we want to do it based on product shipped units you can increase the bubble size and again here you have the option of giving a label and in shapes you can change it from bubble to triangle square or any other shape but it will only take some default shapes and it will not take user defined shapes in colors again it's a single color you can do it by dimension or you can do it by expression or by measure so usually i think measure would make more sense here so in measure again you can select let's say you can select you will select uh, product shipped units okay this is how you do a point layer and let's add one more layer and we'll do a line layer so line layer is basically you can show a line between a state to another state or between couple of cities so let's select i would say let's select state name here okay and in location you need to select a start point and end point so start point could be state name and end point could be a uh, so we have a state name 2 here we will use that as an end point which is basically new york so what we are showing here is that new york is a headquarter of this product and everything is shipped through this route you can change the width of the lines so again let's do the width based on product shipped dollar okay and you can change the curve here so basically instead of straight you can do some kind of curve and then arrow you can have a forward or a backward arrow i would decrease the size because it's kind of covering the entire screen we'll change the color from single color to by dimension so by state name you can see different routes here and again some default options like tooltip and zoom level etc we'll add one more map here and we'll create a layer which is a, a density layer and again we'll select a state so it's it's giving by default same density to every state we'll have to change change the way by so we'll do it again by product ship dollar so now it has colored it based on the high to low so we can change the influence radius or we can change it from pixels meter and feet and in colors we can give different limits based on the user defined parameters let me add one more map here so we'll extend the sheet and we'll add one more map which is basically a chart layer which is again one of the important layer which is uh, recently released so in location we'll select state to just keep this chart more clean and uh, slice it by i would say adoption type 
and again product shipped dollar so now what it is doing is it, in, it is showing you a split of product shipped by adoption type and you can see uh, basically in California you have more uh, early adopters and early majority which is again one of the important map layer released by click so these are the layers first is area then point route heat map and a chart layer just for the understanding i have created all of them in different charts but if you want you can create all of them in a single chart as well thanks for watching the video